Hello and welcome to Point of View. And here comes another exciting space launch from India. Barely weeks after successfully soft landing Chandrayaan-3 to the moon's south pole, India today blasted off Aditya L1, the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun. To carry out the historic mission, Indian space agency ISRO picked the workhorse PSLVXL rocket to deliver the goods. The Aditya mission weighs around 1,500 kilograms and was launched from Sri Harikota in India. The mission will take around 109 Earth days after launch to reach the halo orbit around Lagrange Point 1. India's maiden mission to the Sun, Aditya L1 will travel 1.5 million kilometers from Earth to reach its final destination Lagrange Point 1, or L1. This strategic orbit will provide Aditya L1 with a unique vantage point to observe and study solar phenomena and activities. The Aditya L1 spacecraft will study a number of properties of the Sun such as the dynamics and origins of coronal mass ejections. Its home, the first Lagrange point of the Earth-Sun system, will allow it to orbit Sun at an almost constant distance from Earth, but without the planet ever eclipsing its view of our star. The spacecraft will always be in the same direction from Earth as the Sun. So as Earth rotates, no single ground station will always be in view of Aditya L1. Using a global station network like European space agencies is the best way to exchange data and commands with this spacecraft as often as possible. The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere, and the outermost layers of the Sun, known as the corona, using electromagnetic and particle and magnetic field detectors. Using a special viewpoint, four devices will look at the Sun, while the other three devices will study particles and fields closer to L1. This helps us understand how solar activities affect the space between planets. Aditya's payloads are expected to provide some of the most crucial information to understand the problem of coronal heating, coronal mass ejection, pre-flare and flare activities and their characteristics, dynamics of space weather, propagation of particles and fields etc. The main goals of the Aditya L1 mission are to study the dynamics of the upper parts of the Sun's atmosphere, like the chromosphere and corona. This includes understanding how they heat up, how they release mass and energy in solar events like flares, and how they affect the space environment around Earth. The mission also aims to learn more about the solar corona, its temperature, speed, and density. Additionally, it wants to investigate phenomena like coronal mass ejections and how they are formed. As India embarks on this significant space mission, it's worth noting that there have been international efforts dedicated to solar exploration. The journey of solar missions started as early as the late 1950s when NASA launched its Pioneers 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 satellites. These early satellites offered early insights into the solar wind and magnetic field, although their signal ceased in 1983. In the 1970s, the ALIOS-1 and 2 probes, alongside the Skylab Apollo telescope mount, enriched scientists' understanding of solar wind and corona. The probes were a collaboration between the USA and Germany. Despite their successes, the ALIOS missions encountered challenges, culminating in the crash of ALIOS-1 due to powerful wind shear. Brace yourselves for the exhilarating journey of India's Aditya mission as it unravels the secrets of the sun, igniting a fire of new scientific discoveries. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our celestial neighbor, revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. It's time to witness history in the making, right before your eyes. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Aditya L1 mission accomplished. Handing over to mission director. And we have a confirmation of Aditya L1 separation. The mission has been accomplished.